In this video, we're going to look at how you can add links into your emails that will track who clicks on them. The benefits of this are if you send out an autoresponder sequence or a broadcast message, you want to know who is engaging with your email so that you can either send a direct follow up message to them or treat your subscribers that are engaging with you in a slightly different way to people that aren't. The way to do this is under the content tab and trackable links. Now if you click on show list this will show you any and all of the links that you've already set up and if you want to add one click over the or hover over the I want to and click on the create a link button. This brings up this screen. As with all of the screens if you hover over the question mark it will bring up further instructions for you but for uh, simplicity we'll decide here that we're going to set up a link to ARP reach and the tag that we want uh, needs to replicate or it doesn't it can be anything that you want but we want to make it pretty similar to what you have at the top in the name field. Now one thing to know here is if you put a dash uh, and put site that won't work. I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, the web page is the page that you want people to go to when they click the link in your message. So put your um, website URL in there and make sure that uh, you have that correct. We'll cover post contact and add contact variables in another video as that's slightly advanced. In the description, this is a, a description area for your purposes. Your customers won't see that. So as I said, uh, with the tag, a dash won't work. And what happens is when you click save a link, you will get an error message. The tag is not valid. The only valid uh, letters and characters that you can put in are letters, numbers and underscores. So I've changed that dash to an underscore. Click save link and it's worked. Now here from uh, left to right you can see the name that you've put in, the description, the tag. We'll be using that in a moment the site it redirects to and these two will cover in a separate video and the contacts this number will increment by one every time one of your subscribers or the contacts in your uh, database clicks on this link. So how do you insert a trackable link into an email? So the important part here is this element here. Now I've highlighted that including the curly brackets at the front and uh, back of the link. Click over it and select copy. So now what we need to do is go to the autoresponder that we want to add that into. So we go to autoresponders, show list, we come into one of the messages that we've already got in a test click on edit, come into the message and here you can add the link wherever you want. So what we'll do is we'll um, paste the tag into the email and you could give it um, a message above, visit our website nothing too difficult. Then we could copy this here, toggle onto the editor for the HTML contact and we can add the tag in one of two ways and I'll show you both of them now. So we'll make some space, we've already copied the tag and the visit our site um, from the text version above and what we'll do is, th this is quite important here, is highlight the tag again, copy it again, and in this 
preview editor insert link we want to link this at the moment the link will appear but it won't be clickable because it's an HTML message so click on this and then just where it says link URL paste in the actual trackable link okay now it doesn't matter where you set the target but I always like to um, set it as open in new window and then when you click on insert you'll see that the link has uh, got a line like a normal HTML message we can then click over preview that opens up a new message where you can preview it and if you look at the bottom left you'll see um, the URL and it says uh, the address the URL the website address and then the curly brackets link ARP reach site so in this preview that is absolutely normal for that to happen if we hover over the message preview for the plain text version okay you'll see again everything is there and all of the uh, tags that we've added show as tags but there's another way that you can add a message um, improve the link within an HTML message so I'm going to say uh, let's say we want the visit our website I could have just copied that but um, for purposes of this do it again it's a training video after all highlight the text that you want to be the link okay make sure that you've got the tag again okay so copy the tag from wherever hover over and select drag and select the uh, text that you want to put a link into paste the tag in and click insert and what this has done is it's made the visit our website a link that can be clicked so let's save the changes to the email message and now we'll go and preview what the actual message looks like prior to being sent so that was message one and when we preview the message in this section we see here in the text version what a trackable link looks like in text um, please note the noughts at the end that signifies that it's just a testing link your subscribers will get different numbers okay it's not dissimilar to the manage your subscriptions link but in the HTML version okay here are the two links that we had here's the first link where it was just uh, the plain uh, trackable link and here's the link where we added the trackable link to the words visit our website and that's how you add trackable links into your message it's important to note that by default ARP reach does not change every link that you have automatically into a trackable link you have to manually create the trackable links that you want and add them into your messages and there's some very important reasons why uh, ARP reach does this the first is to manage it's a technical reason it manages your database if you was to put three or four links into every email and you sent out to 50,000 people your database would grow very very quickly and depending on the hosting that you had it could slow things down the other reason which is really exciting are some of the things that you can do with trackable links and we'll cover those in the next video thanks for watching